Our next piece of African art, so unit number six, is the Lukasa, which translates to memory board, and it's by the Mabudye Society, or performed, I should say, by the Mabudye Society, or Men of Memory. And this piece of art comes from the Luba people who live in based in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And you're looking at a piece of art that would be made in the 19th and 20th century. Uh, it is made of wood, metal, some small beads, which you can see throughout multiple colors of these beads. And it is small enough to hold in your hand. So in one hand, and that's most likely why it's narrow on the side. So it's easier to hold. Um, but they vary in size and look, but they're always small enough to hold in one hand. So as we move on, these two images are your college board images. You have, and sorry, they're a little blurry, but the one on the left is the actual uh, Lucasa. And then the one on the right, the image on the right, is a member of the Mabudye Society performing or reading the Lucasa. And these are highly trained individuals. And so they are very much the elite of society. They have been trained to read and remember history of the Luba. And then they would memorize the patterns that would be on the particular Lucasa. They memorize colors and they would perform the reading in front of an audience. And the reading might change depending on who the audience is. So, you know, if you're giving a, a reading to important members of society, you may tell one narrative. If you're giving a reading to a, you know, a slightly different audience of maybe, you know, lesser status individuals, the reading could possibly change. So they would tailor the reading to the audience for sure. But the main thing to know, like, what is the reading about is, is the history of the Luba, and their history wasn't written down technically. You know, it is depicted in these beads and patterns, but only a particular group of people, the Mabudye, can read it. So without those men and that trained, you know, the training they received, the history would just die out. And that's a that has been a real danger as fewer people get trained. So it's not like you have a book that you can open up and just read like a history book and read the history of the United States or the world and you know, Europe, whatever. Uh, it's these memory boards. And without someone who's trained to read it, they become a mystery and just a, you know, a piece of wood with beads on it. Uh, here's a close-up so you can see those beads. The colors probably have faded a bit. Um, the patterns you can see on there uh, really interesting. You can see the, the pattern work on the sides of the board. These are important artifacts. These are important, you know, um, for the Luba people. And then you have this image, which is far better than the other one, although it's not a college board image. You can see two members of the Mabudye Society here with their Lukasa in front of them. And again, remember when the Lukasa is red, there are dancers and songs going on at the same time. Uh, so it's a, it's more than just someone sitting and telling the history. There's a lot going on at the time. Uh, this image, you know, I was thinking about a, an art piece that is narrative based. And I was thinking of older pieces like the by a tapestry, you know, telling the story in the Romanesque era of the Anglo-Saxons versus the Normans, a particular battle. I was thinking back to the column of Trajan in Roman times of, you know, the battle between the Romans and the Dacians. So very much narrative pieces, but I also wanted to remind you and connect you to a piece that I thought was similar as well, which is the wall plaque of the Obas Palace. Now here it's figural, here it's pattern based and abstract, um, but this remember was hung up at the on the walls of the Obas Palace with all the other wall plaques of different kings or Obas throughout history. So they were the Benin people were tracking their history of leadership and rule uh, with every plaque, 
And you could see a chronological kind of uh, storytelling and narrative about that. And in a similar way, you've got that here with the Lukasa, but it's telling a narrative read by the Luba Mabude society men who, again, were highly trained. So a really interesting piece, narrative-based, again, performance-based, seeing this in a museum just statically is not the same. It's not what is intended. And I do think that's why they have these images where you, in African art in particular, where you have someone using the art, performing it, because that's what gives the art piece its power and meaning.